Hey folks, this is the Southwest Prepper with the Southwest Prepper Group. Real quick video, I wanted to do a follow-up on the uh, my fireplace blower here. I wanted to prove to you guys that it's uh, energy efficient. Because right now we're having some issues with the electricity, rolling power outages. Uh, people down in Texas, family down in Texas are complaining about uh, not having power for hours or even days at a time. So I wanted to show people that these, uh, uh, a fireplace insert is something definitely you want to keep in mind if you have a fireplace because of what's happening right now. Again, uh, a fireplace right now can heat your room if you, um, if you have a decent fireplace, um, as long as you have fuel also that's why i mentioned multiple times to have some firewood stored away whether it's you know just uh, a couple bundles from the gas station you put away in the uh, garage for safekeeping but something you're going to need some fuel and a secondary way to heat your house folks so real quick uh this is very energy efficient this blower, like I mentioned before in the other video, it's a four inch inline fan. Um, I believe it's a 500 CFM and I've got it hooked up to my uh, fan controller here. And right now, as you can see, well, I'll turn it all the way down. It's on variable. It's not full, full blast. There's options there. It's on variable. So it's all the way down. And what I have hooked up to it is called a kill a watt. If you can see there, this device shows how much um, your appliances are consuming electricity wise. And right here you could see watts. I'm trying to do this one handed folks, sorry. That is a 44 points. It's kind of hovering. Uh, let's call it 45 watts, right? And that's on the low setting. So let's go ahead and I can do this one handed. Let's turn this up to medium. And you can hear it kind of go up a little bit, that fan start running. And at medium, we're at 58.5 watts. Now let's take her all the way up to high, as high as she'll go, folks. You can kind of hear it. And we're looking at a whopping 66.6 .6 or 7, let's call it 67 watts, folks. That's all the way up. 500 CFM, all the way up, 67 watts, folks. Now that is energy efficient. I just wanted to prove to you guys that having something like this in your fireplace, especially right now with this polar vortex ripping through and the electricity's going out, I could easily run this off of my solar bank. I bought just about any solar bank could probably run this all day, probably all night, folks. You see the proof is right there. 67 watts, full blast. I'll even turn it on full. Sixty-seven point five watts, folks. The proof is in the pudding. And this thing is blowing out heat. I got kids, dogs, everybody sitting in front of it right now. And we got uh, lots of snow out there. So something to consider, once again, if you have a fireplace, an inefficient fireplace, you could turn it into a very efficient heat source. And yes, you can cook in it also. <laughs> heat and cook in it, folks. We do it all the time. So folks, please stay warm out there. Please stay safe. Please be prepared. 
Um, it's a very dangerous time for people to be having no electricity with the kind of temperatures we're having. So I, I always stress this. This is why I made the channel. Be prepared for folks, no fear. We hope for the best and we prepare for the worst. Always have a backup heating source. All right, folks, this is the Southwest Prepper with the Southwest Prepper Group. Love and light from New Mexico. Be safe out there.